Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we'll be multiplying decimal numbers. But before we get into that, just a quick reminder. All around the world, we have two decimal separators. We have a comma and we have a point. But because I was born and raised in South Africa, I use a decimal comma. That doesn't change anything else. It doesn't change any rules. The only difference is I use a comma where you may use a point. So now let's get started with this video. When we multiply two decimal numbers, there's three really easy steps we're going to follow. The first step is we're going to ignore the decimal separators. So for the second step, we're gonna multiply these two numbers as if they are whole numbers in a normal way. In this step, I'm not going to go in detail on how to do normal multiplication. If I'm going too fast in this video in this step and you want to go and see how to do that in more detail, you can check out the videos that I will link. And then for the third and final step, we're going to add back the decimal separator. So when you have your answer, when you're done with the normal multiplication, we'll just add back the decimal separator and you will have your answer. So first we have 1,7 times 4,3. So the first step is we ignore the decimal separator and we write it down as a normal multiplication sum. So when we ignore the comma, we have 17 times 43. So we write down our two lines for our answers. And now we start multiplying. So 3 times 7 is 21. So you write down your 1, your 2 you carry over. 3 times 1 is 3, plus that 2 you carried over is 5. So 3 times 17 is 51. So now you cancel that 2 because we already worked with it. And now we're going to times with the 4. And remember, we are multiplying by 4t and not just by 4. That is why you put a 0 in the next answer line. So now that you've added that 0, we can just multiply the 4 with the 17. So first we have 4 times 7. 4 times 7 is 28, so you write down your 8, you carry over the 2, and now we multiply 4 with 1, so 4 times 1 is 4, plus the 2 you carried over is 6. So now you have your answer for 40 times 17. All you need to do now is add those two answers together, and remember, when we add, we start at the right and we work our way left. So first, 1 plus 0 is 1, 5 plus 8 is 13, so you write on your 3, you carry over your 1. And 6 plus that 1 you carried over is 7. This is not your answer for 1,7 times 4,3. This is your answer for 17 times 43. So now for your final answer, we still need to add the decimal separator. So how do I know where does the decimal separator go? So have a look in your original question. You have 1,7 times 4,3. So you need to count how many digits there are after the decimal separators, after the comma. So there's one, two. All together, there are two digits to the right of the commas. And now you know your answer should also have two digits to the right of the comma. So you count one, two digits, and you add your comma. So 1,7 times 4,3 is equal to 7,31. Now let's have a look at another example. Now we have 2,5 times 3,6. So your first step, ignore the commas and do a normal multiplication sum. So we multiply 25 by 36. So your two lines for your answers. And now we start. So 6 times 5 is 30. So you write on your 0, carry over your 3. 6 times 2 is 12. Plus that 3 carried over is 15. So now we have the answer for 25 times 6. So you cancel the 3 that you already worked with. And now we're going to multiply the 3 with the 25. But remember, 
we're multiplying with 30 so you first write down your zero and now you can just start multiplying the digits so 3 times 5 is 15 you write on your 5 carry over your 1 and 3 times 2 is 6 plus that one you carried over is 7 and now we just add those two answers together 0 plus 0 is 0 5 plus 5 is 10 you write on your 0 you carry over your 1 and 1 plus 7 is 8 plus that one you carried over is 9 and now you know you go and look in your original question how many digits are there behind the commas one two so your answer should also have one two digits behind the comma so then you add your comma there so you know 2,5 times 3,6 is 9,00 but because it's 9,00 those two zeros don't have to be there because 9,00 is exactly the same as 9. And now for our third example. For this example, we have 4,13 times 2,6. So the first step, ignore the commas and do a normal multiplication sum. So we start by writing down our lines and now doing the multiplication so 6 times 3 is 18 you write on your 8 carry over your 1 6 times 1 is 6 plus that one you carried over is 7 and 6 times 4 is 24 so now you have the answer for 413 times 6 so you cancel that one we already worked with and you're going to multiply with 20 so we write down our 0 and now we can start to multiply the digits. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 4 is 8. So now we just add those two together. So 8 plus 0 is 8, 7 plus 6 is 13, you write down your 3, you carry over your 1, 4 plus 2 is 6, plus that one you carried over is 7, and 2 plus 8 is 10 and now all we need to do is add back our decimal separator so we go to our original question we see that there are three digits to the right of the commas all together so we know in our answer there should be three digits to the right of the comma in the answer so we add our comma so we know that 4,13 times 2,6 is equal to 10,738. And now for this question, we have 0, 0,37 times 3,2. So for the first step, we ignore the decimal separators and we write it down as a normal multiplication sum. And for this example, I want you to see that the 0 in front of the 37 doesn't mean anything so you can leave that zero out so we have 37 times 32 we have our two lines so 2 times 7 is 14 you write down your 4 carry over your 1 2 times 3 is 6 plus that 1 is 7 and now you have the answer for 37 times 2 so you cancel that 1 and we're going to times with the 3 so remember it's actually 30 so you write down your zero and now we start multiplying with the three so three times seven is 21 you write on your one carry over your two three times three is nine plus that two is eleven and now all you need to do is add these two answers together so four plus zero is four seven plus one is eight and then there's just the one and also just the one and now you're going to count how many digits are behind the commas all together so there's one two three digits so your answer is also going to have one two three digits to the right of the comma so your answer for 0 comma 3 7 times 3 comma 2 is 1 comma 1 8 4 for the last example, we have 0, 0,29 times 0, 0,56. So we write them down without the decimal separators. But remember, just like in the previous example, you don't have to write the zero in front of the numbers. So we have 29 times 56. 
So we have our two lines and now we can start. Six times nine is 54. So you write on your four, carry over your five. Six times two is 12 plus five is 17. So 29 times six is 174. We cancel the five that we carried over. So we write on our zero just to make sure we multiply with 50 and not with five. And now we can start. Five times nine is 45. Write on your five, carry over your four. Five times two is 10 plus your four is 14. Now we add these two together. Four plus zero is four. 7 plus 5 is 12, write down your 2, carry over your 1. 1 plus 4 is 5, plus that 1 you carried over is 6, and then in the last one just 1. And now we're going to count the amount of digits to the right of the commas altogether. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4 digits to the right of the commas. So we know there should be 1, 2, 3, 4 digits to the right of the comma and because there's not a digit in front of the comma we can just add a zero so our answer for 0 0.29 times 0 0.56 is 0 0.1624 so if you want to go and practice this some more in the description box below i have a worksheet with a memo where you can go and practice multiplying decimal numbers and if you haven't already and this video helped you Please don't forget to like this video and also to subscribe to my channel and then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.